Hi, it is now Monday, April 5th, almost 8.30 at night. I just got home from work a little bit ago, finished work at 7.30. It was a rough shift today. I was not feeling the greatest, but got through. I don't know how. <laughs> finished, and I came home, and I got to clean the kitchen again. It's exactly how I left it last night after I loaded the dishwasher and ran out. The other load is still waiting in the dishwasher to go in. So I'm going to do a quick, hopefully relatively quick, kitchen cleanup. And thought you guys might want to watch. I don't know. I don't know how to edit to be able to like speed this up or put background music or anything. But I'm just going to get this done. And the primary thing will be just unloading and reloading the dishwasher. Plus, I also have a participant in the background here. He might be on my shoulder at some point or squawking. Right now, he's happy. He's quiet. He's eating a grape. But let's just get right to it. I got mostly just the dishwasher to do the cleanup, but it's got to be done. So here we go. And again, I don't know how to speed it up or anything, so you'll just have to watch it in real time and, you know, just make, or make the best of it. Hopefully I can get most of the new stuff, other stuff in one load in the dishwasher. But I've got a couple of large plastic containers that are large, and I don't know how many of them I can fit in one load. A couple of things in this roaster did not come completely clean, so I'm just going to give it a quick wipe the pot scrubber. Stuff with the skin on the turkey, I think. Got most of it open. There's a little spot right there that needs a wipe. I don't like having to do this after already running it, but just that one spot that needs to be gone over. Done. I wasn't talking too terribly much in the video last night because my husband was napping on the couch. It was almost his bedtime. He's falling asleep and it's right outside the kitchen so I didn't want to make a lot of noise. Nary. sounds like it. Okay. All these lids. What are you doing up there, huh? Did you get into trouble? The bird is watching me from his perch. Well, it's not a perch. It's okay pantry cupboard, but he's made it into his perch for the time being. Watching me like a hawk. Uh, oh yeah, you're gonna walk on camera. You gonna start talking? Feel free. You're a good little talker. You can talk on camera if you want to. Say peekaboo. Pretty bird. You're not going to do it on command, right? He probably knows the camera's on, so he won't speak. Okay. Oh, yes. Now. Hi. Oh, you are now. There you are. There he's paying pay me a visit. How long he'll stay, I don't know. But if he starts chewing holes in my shirt, he's gonna get the boot. Because this is my concert shirt from the Paisley concert 2013, I wanna say. And I don't want him damaging my concert shirts. So yeah, no, you can't damage it. You're not allowed. You bite it, or 
a hole in it, it'll be game over for you, buddy. Don't get kicked off. Oh, all these. There's so much cleaning to be done. What a thought. I might come home to a tidy kitchen, but I was mistaken. Thankfully, I only worked one job today, considering how my stomach was biting me and I wasn't feeling well. I also worked at a school lunch program, and last week's school was out for spring break, but they're back in today. But I told them I couldn't do today because I was starting work at the store at 2. So by the time you get away from the school, it's quarter to 1. Not enough time to get home, have lunch pack snacks to take to work, change into your uniform and go. There's just no turnaround time. You probably make it, but then I have no time to sit down and just breathe. So, we got through the school today, and the way I'm feeling today is just as well. So, arrived at the school for, or no, the school at the store for, what was it? I went in at 1.30 for the two o'clock shift. I usually go a little bit early because then I can check the schedule for the following week and see if it's up. Thankfully it is. And then get those entered into my calendar and then I check my daughter's schedule too because she also works at the store, different department. So I check to see if her schedule's posted to her, if it, or her schedule for the week is, has any changes. She, she looks after it herself, but if she's not there, I will check and just text her to let her know if any changes to her times. Just cause, even though she's 21, you never stop being a mom, so. And sometimes if she's working and I'm not, she'll see that my schedule's pretty and send it to me too. So it goes both ways. Oh no. I made the cardinal sin of cramming the potato peeler into this drawer. And I'm having a hard time getting it open. It does go in this drawer, but you gotta put it just so or you'll never get that drawer open again. I'm sure you've all been there. Now this has to go back in there. Cricket, what are you doing? He's on my back now. He's just hanging out with me. Apparently, family tells me he was talking about the storm before I got home from work. And now he won't say anything other than his chirps. But he has a good little vocabulary, but because the camera's on, he probably won't talk. So, that's okay. Another time. And I've decided, after watching the video last night of myself on here that I did and see myself on selfie mode right now that I am not happy with my current fitness level or lack thereof. I mean, they say the camera adds, adds 10 pounds, but I have a feeling it's not the camera's fault. So I don't know if this is the COVID weight everybody keeps talking about because they've been cooped up at home and can't exercise or what my problem is, but that's partly why too I've also been hesitant to do videos of myself being on camera because I'm not loving this. But now that it's good weather, hopefully I'll get out and get some walks in. And as well, we're looking at repairing or replacing our old treadmill, probably replacing. And that's how I lost the weight before. It was not really running on the treadmill, but just walking on it even. So that's probably what will end up happening when we replace that. And then that'll give me a means to, uh, between that and going for walks outside, that should give me a means to get some exercise in. And get back in some kind of shape other than my current shape, which is just round. So, okay, now what am I doing? Um, I think I'm gonna put this dish. Yes, Cricket, I know. You've got so much to tell us. I just don't want the phone to uh, fall over. I angle it the wrong way. Okay, I've got lots of dishes. Lots of big dishes to go in. Yes, Cricket. Can you say peekaboo? Peekaboo. Come on, cricket. You've got a good little vocabulary. Use it. Talk. Talk for us. That would be nice. Would like to you talk. Well. Large strainer 
in the dishwasher on the bottom. Okay, big. There we go. That will pretty much cover the bottom layer on that side. Now, Now he's talking. Give me a kiss. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Hey, give me a kiss. Hello, baby. What are you doing? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Give me a kiss. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Yes, you're a pretty bird. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. You say, hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, what are you doing? on the microwave now. Can you see him up there? I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, there he is. That's the talker. That's him. That's Cricket. He's an Indian ringneck. And sometimes he'll talk on camera. Not usually. This is a rarity. 
but it's only because I don't think he knew the camera was on. Now I showed the camera to him, he might stop. Okay. Well, I'm not going to have absolutely everything in this load, but most of it will be. Again, there's one large plastic container that won't make it in, but that's okay. Next load. lunch bag and see if there's anything that needs to go. Oh, all this stuff in the dish cleaner. Yeah. Okay, let me grab my lunch bag. Oh. A lot of stuff I did not eat today because I wasn't feeling great. This stuff I can just snack on now. I have a sandwich, got some grapes and some crackers. I don't have any of my supper. And I bought some ammonium at the store because my stomach was upset. Which is basically a tummy upset pill. I don't know if you guys have the same stuff in the States for those of you that are American watching. And I got two bottles of water on the go. I'll just leave one in my lunch bag for tomorrow. And I got a couple of Easter chocolates here too. Yeah. And a granola bar wrapper against your oh, let's get this. Medication insert. Let me check the other room for glasses. I have a feeling. Just have a feeling. Okay. Check the daughter's room for a glass, and sure enough, there was one. Eh, one isn't too bad. It's not a big collection this time. Sometimes there's been more. This isn't too bad. Uh, not that there's that much room on top for more stuff, but whatever. Put these guys back in my Easter basket because I didn't need them. And one more glass in the living room. Of course, there's always got to be a couple stowaways. Always. Perform on command. Hey baby. Hey baby. Hey baby. that out. I hate it when these dish cleaners are full. I ask these guys to dump them out and it doesn't get done too terribly often. But I'll do it now. I have one that is a flamingo because I'm on a flamingo kick. And the other one is a rubber ducky. Well, not a ducky because I like birds, right? I like, obviously, flamingos and duckies, they're all birds. And, you know, we have a whole bunch of parrots in this house and budgies. So, obviously, it makes sense. My dish trainers will be birds now, too. Okay, so that's going to have to be this. This is going to have to stay like that for tomorrow. And baby. Hopefully I didn't jam pack that dishwasher or too bad. Hopefully it'll still run properly. Should, but it's always a thing to make sure you don't overload the bottom so that the water doesn't shoot up to the top of the basin. Hopefully I did it properly. Yeah, good boy. You are a good boy sometimes. Sometimes you're a good boy. Okay. Like and once I'm done here, then I'm going to have a little laundry to fold downstairs. Oh, and probably at least one more load to wash tonight, at least. Probably, maybe even two. Because tomorrow I work at the school and the store. And my daughter works with me at the school tomorrow, but she doesn't work at the store. But still. But I know I have laundry to put away. As well as stuff to wash and stuff to fold. That's in the basement, so I'll be tending to that after this. Even though it's quarter to nine at night and I haven't had supper yet. And I was feeling so poorly at work, I didn't think I was going to get through my shift. But nonetheless, my chores await. <laughs> so, the housework does not leave, does not end 
just because I finished my day job or even job or whatever. I, I mean, I work days, evenings, weekends, you name it. I just basically work whatever they tell me because the more availability you give them, the better chance you get of getting hours. And he's sitting on the microwave preening himself at the moment. So usually he's looking in the reflection of the microwave chattering away, but and yeah, I've got container left over of baking from my week's worth of cookies I made because I did a big delivery on the weekend and some banana bread I put all over the freezer. Some leftover Easter chocolate mini eggs. I made some cookies with these in them. And then there's the turkey wishbone drying out. And I got a cupboard door to close. One I know one of the other YouTubers I follow, um, Shannon on Kitchen Shenanigans, she's always talking about how her she finds herself leaving her cupboard doors open too in the kitchen. Trust me, you are not alone. Anyway, that is it. It is 8.45. Time for me to eat whatever's left over from my lunch at work as a form of supper, I guess. Sit down for 10 minutes and then fold laundry and start more laundry. It never ends. It just never ends here. And, oh, and he's checking himself out in the microwave again. He's probably more interesting to watch than I am in this video, actually. Oh, here he comes. Hi. What do you got to say for yourself? Hi. Hey, peekaboo. Hey, pretty bird. And this is only one of our birds. We have seven budgies, but we have seven bigger birds as well. He's probably our biggest. We have a Senegal parrot, and a, this guy's an Indian ringneck. We have a Quaker parrot, two Conyers, per, like one's a pearly Conyer, one's a green cheek Conyer, and two cockadiels, and then seven budgies. And downstairs we have the quietest one in the house, which is our uh, lion head rabbit, Floyd. So he's quiet at least. Nobody else is around here. These birds make a lot of noise. Anyway, that's it for me for now. Feel free to give this a like if you enjoyed it. And again, please forgive any camera shake. My hands have always been naturally shaky. Plus, I don't I haven't learned how to edit this or to put it on tripod yet or anything. I'm filming on my phone. Um, eventually, when I get a new computer, I'll be able to film on my camcorder so I can get rid of some of the video, home videos from my camcorder onto the computer. And then I can record on my camcorder and edit on the new computer when I get it eventually. So for now, this is what I'm doing. So forgive any camera shake and forgive the fact that I don't know how to edit. And again, if you guys have any suggestions on programs to use for editing, um, please let me know and because I would love to learn how to do that and, you know, do this properly. So anyway, that's it for me tonight. I got more housework to do. So I'll see you in the next one and uh, hope to see you guys in the comments or else in the next video. Have a good night, everyone. Say goodbye to Chris. Say goodbye, Cricket. Now he knows how to say hello, baby, but he doesn't know how to say hi or goodbye. So, all right. See you in the next one, guys. Have a good night.